While you were taking in the sights and sounds at South by Southwest, you might have missed this supercell simulator and a bone drilling surgical robot. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where our takes are hotter than a Pacific Atoll during a nuclear bomb test. Studying the inner workings of powerful tornadoes requires more than just strapping yourself to a pipe and hoping for the best. A team of researchers at the University of Wisconsin at Madison have instead turned to supercomputers to help better understand why some storms produce deadly twisters while others do not. The team modeled a massive thunder cell in a simulated space measuring roughly 75 miles wide, 75 miles long, and 12.5 miles tall, then broke it down into more than 1.8 billion individual chunks. Within each of these smaller spaces, the supercomputer simulated various weather factors like wind speed, barometric pressure, and precipitation. The entire project required 20,000 cores running for three straight days to complete, but will hopefully help meteorologists better predict when tornadoes will strike before they start throwing cows around. Installing a cochlear implant is a risky operation that requires surgeons to drill a teensy little hole through the patient's skull in an area surrounded by facial and taste nerves. The maneuver is so delicate that as many as half of all cochlear implant wearers actually lose a little bit of their residual hearing from the surgery itself. That's why a team of researchers from the University of Bern in Switzerland have spent the last eight years building a surgical robot that can drill through skulls more accurately than humans can. The team's creation has been successfully used in four surgeries so far, though the researchers are still evaluating how much of the patient's hearing have actually improved. And now for TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Germany wants to use voice recognition to identify where refugees are from. New York City is suing Verizon over its Fios rollout. Purdue researchers have developed a gelatinous robot that will help operate on our guts from the inside. The US Air Force now has more drone pilots than any other kind. And a Russian court has found Apple guilty of price fixing in its iPhone sales. Have a great weekend, everybody.